The Saint was a TV show running from 1962 to 1969, based upon the books of the same name by Leslie Charteris. The episodes detailed the exhilarating adventures of Simon Templer, a rich playboy and somewhat anti-hero because of his occasional thieving, who had appeared had connections everywhere and would bend the law so as to help others in need. This did mean that he was somewhat infamous with the police, and they would often attempt to threaten or foil his plans. Templar was played by future James Bond actor Roger Moore, who was more than keen to be involved in the show's production, as prior to its creation, he had already attempted to buy the rights to the Saint books from Leslie Charteris himself. By season 5, in fact, Roger Moore had become the co-owner of the show, along with Robert S. Baker. The show was produced by ITV, and each episode was roughly 49 to 51 minutes in length, with a complement of 6 seasons and 118 episodes, 71 in black and white and 47 in colour. All episodes of The Saint began with a cold open, often with an establishing shot of the place where the episode would set. After this, The Saint would then share with the audience his thoughts on the place in question. For the first four seasons, he breaks the fourth wall when doing this, turning to the camera and saying something like, Complete suffering both on stage and off. Thankfully, when the show changed to colour, they removed this and exchanged it for a simple voiceover by Roger Moore. And even though this isn't too great, I feel that it's far superior to the other method. Following this, Simon would have an exchange with a character who will most probably be crucial to the story to follow, and then they would say his name. To shoot the famous Simon Templar. This would then prompt a shot of Roger Moore with a halo appearing above his head, which he would proceed to look annoyed at. This then lurched the audience into the short opening credits. Following this, the story would generally continue from where the cold opening had left off. Although beginning as a mystery style show, The Saint soon became a show about espionage with increasingly fanciful plots. This change in tone can be attributed to the growing popularity of spy entertainment and the lessening number of charterous novels to adapt. This meant that popular ITC writers such as Harry Junkin and John Cruise were able to show off their creativity, resulting in classic episodes such as The Ex-King of Diamonds, where the saint investigates the ex-king of the fictional country Slavonia with the help of a mathematician and his daughter, and an American adventurer. Or the other very memorable episode, Portrait of Brenda, an episode where with the help of a pop singer, the saint is on the trail of a murderous guru who charges extortionate prices. Or even Season 5, Episode 4, where the Saint tries to help a fictional country overthrow their dictator in a bloodless revolution. And as impossible as a bloodless revolution sounds, the Saint actually does it. And yes, there are quite a few fictional countries in this series. They all seem to look a little like England, though, I have to say. And that brings us on to where they filmed the Saint. The Saint was shot nearly entirely at Elstree Studios. If, of course, you disregard the stock footage that is occasionally used. There were a few exceptions, but when you're filming something on a TV budget in the 60s, you can't really take your crew very far without seriously overspending. Because of such restrictions, they used a bit of early blue screen, and this surprisingly works quite well in the black and white seasons. Sadly, when you get to the colour seasons, it can stick out a bit, especially when somebody is driving. The series was revived in 1978 as The Return of the Saint, starring Ian Ogilvy as Simon Templar. However, this revival was not nearly as popular as the original, and only lasted one season, sadly being the last action-slash-adventure series produced by ITC. Interestingly, this revival did spark interest in the original series, and prompted two other attempts to make Saint revivals, one being The Saint in Manhattan, a pilot for a Saint series that was going to star Aussie actor Andrew Clarke, the other being six film-length episodes starring Simon Dutton. In 1997, a The Saint film was made starring Val Kilmer in the role of Templar. However, it did take great liberties, changing the character into more of a master of disguise. Interestingly as well, this version of The Saint never kills anyone, even letting the main villain stand trial at the end. It was attempted to revive the series again in December 2012, with Adam Rayner starring as Simon Templar, and Roger Moore also appearing. However, after still not being broadcast by 2015, the pilot was retooled with extra scenes added and was released as a TV film two months after the sad passing of Roger Moore.
Overall, The Saint is a great watch. Although possibly not completely fitting into the Eurospy category, its influence from that genre is greatly apparent. It has many interesting stories. Season 6 is the fiction makers being one of the best, and probably most Eurospy-esque. It also serves as a great lens into what really shaped Roger Moore's career, and what it was that prompted Eon Productions to pick him up as Bond. Anyway, that's all I have for today, and I'll see you later.